guys, it is Friday, the 26th of July, 2024. We are walking into Boston Common. And it it's 10 minutes to noon here on the East Coast, 78 degrees. We're going to uh, have a series of walks today. We periodically like to walk through the comments. We'll do that and we'll just kind of see what's going on. There's a concert series that starts in about 10 minutes at the other end, so check that out before going out to the support district, as long as my feet cooperate. And there will be a little thing that reminds you to like and subscribe if you would. Even share, leave a comment. This is a summer beer garden. It's probably just open it up. But it's popular on the weekends, especially this time of year. Boston is full of tourists. If you'd like to help out with that, there's information in the description that you can use my PayPal to do that. So, we'll walk over here. There's always something going on in here on Boston Common, so I like to come down here and see the beautiful greenery and then whatever's going on. I have never seen anybody actually play it on that field before. So that's exciting. So this here's a friendly squirrel. This is, uh, I think, oh, we'll get the name in a minute. I'll put it up. <laughs> but it's one of the uh, colonial burying grounds. And some of these stones are back in the six, late 1600s, I think. There's another squirrel on the ground. Anyway. So whenever we do these videos, if there's anything that we go past that you'd like a closer look at, or for me to go into, like a store or something, just let me know. I'll see what I can do. Especially things here in Boston. So yeah, you can see the uh, headstones. You really can't see what's on them anymore. Some plaques in there. And then it's got this little, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's for drainage. Who knows? There's some more down that way. Oh, there's one we can read if I can see it. It's hard to see it. For remains of a person found under. Boylston Street Hall during the. I can't read the rest of it. But apparently, I'm oh, playing volleyball. Well, it's pepper. Lots of things. Yeah, it's really beautiful down here. This um, was donated to the city by a a wealthy man who owned about this land and he gave it to the city on one condition that it could never be developed and for 400 years 300 years they've uh, stuck to that tennis court there's the uh, I forget what it's actually called I always say gazebo but bandstand it's a bandstand there's going to be a uh, I think it's Shakespeare later. Some kind of performance. We'll make it if I can stay <laughs> vertical that long. They built this stage over here too. I have a video of them working on it and building it a little while back. We'd like to start our walks out here. When I say, I mean, we, I mean, 
me. There's some free sunscreen that they put out here, which is always nice. I sprayed some on before I left. And we're starting here because I just finished watching Deadpool and Wolverine, and I highly recommend it if you like those kind of movies. It's one of my favorites of all time. So there's the bandstand a little closer. Winter's Tale is what they're doing today, I think. Maybe they're using the stage to do it. Because it's set at the bandstand, but... We usually don't walk out this way. But I like to do it a different way sometimes. There's always food vendors. Frozen lemonade. Being 78 degrees, it's uh, nice right now. I mean, it's not too bad. It's been a hot, humid summer so far. <laughs> but this is part of what like being in New England. So screens. I don't know why it's built like that. It's kind of weird. And I guess people come out through those holes or will. I don't know what it's for. can give you a look around. There's the the embrace, which is a Martin Luther King Jr. memorial. Did you hear him sing it? I think it was that monument that's ahead how pro-Palestinian protesters defaced. I'm just going to say, if you deface public property, you should be arrested and prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. That's just my opinion. Oh, the splash pool. Frog Pond is open. We'll go by there. And then we're headed to the Seaport District. Looks like they've got it blocked off because they're cleaning it. It's very nice. It's really new couple years old now. It's uh, modeled on a photo of them embracing him and his wife after he was notified that he just won the Nobel Peace Prize. So you can see groups and we'll see them as we go by that are uh, Freedom Trail tours with period costumes, um, people leading the parade, or the group, it's not really a parade, but it's a large group of people, maybe 20, 25, 30, you'll see. people selling hats and t-shirts and lemonade and empanada. really is a beautiful day. It's fun to just look at the people with their kids. Very diverse people. By the way, it's new and 79 degrees. Again, Friday the 26th, July 2024. <laughs> we'll go walk around the frog pond with the kids. And there's the tadpole playground. She said she had to pee. There's a like a trailer that's full of bathrooms. Look at that cat. It's always fun to see. Here are the frogs. See if we can get the other frogs. 
so you can keep up. <laughs> All right. So. Soldiers and Sailors Monument. I think that's what they deface. Yeah, you can see where it's been scrubbed off. Sad that somebody has to wear a national, you know, historical monument. I don't like things shown on television with kids and stuff, but I feel like. There, so. This is what you can show your kids if you have them. I don't think I've cussed. <laughs> and there's a carousel. It's open every day in the summer, 10 to 6. And it's 4 bucks for 10 rides for 30. Going on this side. <laughs> It's not going on, I'm not going to wait today. You can look at all the animals and whatnot. Now I'll send you right here so you can see some of the skyline. The uh, Prudential Tower is the one with kind of a, you can see it says Prudential at the top. You can see that far. It's got a spire on it. It's the one on the right. They have an observation deck that I'm going to take you up to see, but it's like $30. I don't have the money right now. I'm saving for my tours. So we're going to walk up here to the soldiers and sailors and then over to the fountain. And to the next. On par! On par! <laughs> next time. Get a little higher view from up here. I forgot to start my music. I usually listen to music while we walk around. So there's the stage we saw. We'll stop and look at the memorial. the whole thing. Go up and see so you can look at one of the pieces of art. Or maybe I'll rent it, I don't know. This is 
So it says, to the men of Boston who died for their country on land and sea in the war which kept the Union whole, destroyed sla slavery, and maintained the Constitution, the grateful city has built this monument that their example may speak to coming generations. And that's by Martin Fillmore, the sculptor. So we'll come up and look at some of the... Let's see. There we go. So that's one side. You can see them with the flag and we'll walk around this way. And then I'll show you a little higher up are the statues. Yeah, they're getting them all in. So on this side, I won't get too close. I like your shirt. And we're back to where we started. Don't forget, subscribe, like, share, comment. Tell me which one of these things that we visit is your favorite. Or which one you think was a waste of time. This is an old mine, I believe. Yep. The type of the 56,571 56, mines laid and swept in the mine barrier placed in the North Sea by the United States Navy during the World War from 1917 to 1919. The greatest achievement of its nature recorded in all naval history and placed here as a tribute to those who sacrificed their lives and to the survivors of this feat. Presented to the City of Boston through the North Sea Mine Force Association October 26, 1921. So, these kept our East Coast safe during the First World War. Alright. Here I am at Mount yeah, the music's going now. I occasionally sing on very poorly, so if you've listened this far, <laughs> well, thank you. Hell, put it in the comments that you've listened this far, and I'll give you a shout out in the next video I make. We'll go up by the visitor center, and that's where they start the Freedom Trail tours. Those boxes on the tree are um, bug traps for bugs that would eat the trees. There are also labels on all the trees. Some uh, interns for the city came out and labeled every tree in the common and the public garden so that you could see what it was because a lot of them were in the public garden were imported from Europe. Take a little look around. Bikes are allowed on the common. If you're here, you can buy some of this stuff. The helmets in case he runs into people. My walk's gonna watch is gonna talk now, so if you're still around when it does, it'll be in the next video. Ice cream, Italian slush.
feel comfortable with that. Thank God. Before we get out. Yeah. No. And sometimes you'll hear me talk to my phone. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, this is not the Bible course. Those four ladies are. So here's one of the groups. We'll see if we can get high enough to see the. Yeah, the guy the tour. I see that look around. Right? Right? Of course, we cut that down. There's the big gold thing. They're going to walk two and a half miles. We'll get there on a nice, cool day. This we're not going to have for a while. Back to hot and humid. Yeah, I think we're going to have to get to the left a little. Because there's the uh, Capitol Dome. I think it's really pretty. They call it the state house here. I guess I could say we. I've been here five years. Oh, oops. I don't think that's the scheduled performance. They usually put them over here on the right the last time I was here. So, we'll see what we can find. that you see are the Freedom Trail. They go up that left avenue. They're kind of gathering and then they go up. But we'll do that sometime. Maybe I'd have to get to the front so I can film the guy doing it. As you see, people like to skate to that fountain. I do too. In fact, I usually never do this. That's the... Uh, Transportation system. So I never do this, but since we're at 23 minutes, we usually go about 20. We're gonna end this video, start another. Fidget's going by, <laughs> and then I'm gonna do something I usually don't do. Hey guys, until next time, love ya.